Froggy Eats Out, by Jonathan London, illustrated by Frank Rampiewicz. It was almost dinner time, and Froggy was hungry. He sat in the kitchen and dreamed about buggers and flies. Then he hopped up and looked for something to eat. He looked in the cabinet. Slam. He looked in the fridge. Slam. He looked in the oven. Bang. Mom yelled, "Froggy, there's nothing good to eat." Froggy called his mother. What? Did you forget? It's our anniversary. We are going out to eat. Hooray! Sang Froggy. Let's go. First, you have to get dressed up, dear. We are going to a fancy restaurant. So Froggy flopped to his bedroom. Flop. Flop, flop. He slipped off his shirt, unzipped his pants, took off his shoes, pulled off his socks, and he even changed his underwear. What a zap of elastic! Then he tugged on his best pants, zip. Buttoned up his best shirt, zut zut zut. Put on his best socks, zip. Pulled on his best shoes, zup. And tied them up, zwit zwit. Then he put on his best bow tie, zap. And flopped out to show his mom and dad. Flop, flop, flop. You look very handsome, dear," said his mother. "But you forgot to wash." "Oops," said Froggy. So he went to the bathroom and washed his hands and face. Splash, splash, splash. He used lots and lots of water, but only a little bit of soap. Then he dried off him off with a towel, zoop, and looked at himself in the mirror. He thought he was. Kind of cute. Froggy called his father. What? Time to go," said his dad. "We'll be late." And off they flopped to the restaurant. Flop, flop, flop. At the restaurant, Froggy's eyes grew big and round. There were. Glowing candles, floors in the vases, and tablecloths as white as snow. This is a fancy restaurant," said Froggy. "Yes," said his mother. "So remember, be neat." Be quiet, and don't put your feet on the table. When they were seated, Froggy said, "I'm hungry. Let's eat." First, we have to order, dear," said his mother. "I want a hamburger," said Froggy. 
No hamburgers here, said his father. When the waiter handed him a menu, Froggy opened it and knocked over a glass of water. Crash! Oops! cried Froggy. Oh, Froggy, said his mother. Remember what I told you? I know, said Froggy. Be neat, be quiet, and don't put your feet on the table. But it was hard to be neat and quiet. He visited. He shook salt on his hand and licked it. He banged his spoon on the table. Bang, bang, bang! Then he hit hard on the tip of the spoon and flipped it right into the waiter's head. Bonk! After the waiter finally came and took their orders, they waited and waited and waited. Froggy pulled petals off the flowers and blew on the candle. He sucked on sugar cubes and ice cubes. Then he hopped up and flopped around the restaurant. Flop, flop, flop. Singing, be neat, be quiet, and don't put your feet on the table. Froggy, called his father. What? Please sit down now. Froggy sat down. Finally, dinner was served. Froggy stuck his fork into a huge plate of spaghetti and sucked some up. Slurp! It was fun, so he slurped up some more. Slurp, slurp, slurp. And that's when he saw Frogelina. She was sitting with her, with her parents. Hi, Froggy, called Frogelina. Who's that pretty girl frog? asked his mother. Froggy was so embarrassed. He ducked beneath the tablecloth and Pulled and pulled and pulled till his spaghetti and fly sauce landed smack on his head. Splat! Oops! cried Froggy, looking more red in, in the face than green. Happy anniversary, he croaked. What a mess, cried his father. Oh, Froggy, said his mother. Froggy scooped spaghetti off his face and said, I know, let's eat out at a fast fly's place. Good idea, said his, said his mother. Let's go, said his father. And together, they leapfrogged all the way there. Flop, flop, flop. Where they all ate burgers and flies. Munch, crunch, munch. Froggy! We are going out to eat. Froggy eats out. <laughs>